Is there a checkmate hmm. in chess as pretty as the smothered mate? I think not. But you know what? Sometimes the smothered mate is pretty and fast. Today, we're going to look at five real-life chess games where somebody won using a smothered mate in less than 10 moves. That's right. But before we get to the big action, mash that button in the middle of your screen. That's the one that makes me happy. Okay, now before we get to the really quick mates, we need to figure out what is smothered mate. Smothered mate is pretty much always with a knight, and it's when the enemy pieces surround the enemy king and the knight does all the damage on your side. The enemy pieces actually kind of get in the way. And who better than to show a smothered mate than the first unofficial world champion of chess, Mr. Paul Morphy. We see the queen lined up with the king, and so Paul Morphy plays the move knight to c5 discovered check. Now if the king moves this way, wah, 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 then this position wouldn't make my video because it would just be regular checkmate, queen and helper mate, but the king travels this way. Now you might think we should give away the queen right away because then if the rook takes, oh. we get to do the very pretty smothered mate. The problem of course is that black is not required to take with the rook. Black's going to take with the oh. king and then Paul Morphy is going to feel very silly for losing the queen. So what we actually have to do here is give another check with the knight on this square. Now, black only has one move, and here we give a double check. You can't take the knight because you're also in check with the queen. Of course, you don't want to go to the right because queen to b7 is still queen and helper mate. But here's the big difference. When the king travels to the left, now we sacrifice our queen. And the mystery, well, it's already been revealed. The knight's guarding. You can't tip at the king. And when you do take with the oh. rook, all of black's pieces get in the king's way. And the knight says, ha, 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 tickle you. And, uh, well, the king can't get the knight because the king is trapped. It is a smothered mate. Just like at Waffle House when you get your hash browns smothered. Okay, let's take a look at one more example. This was from modern times, a grandmaster named Alexander Grishuk, and this is actually simpler. Here, he doesn't need to do all that knight dancing. Here, it's just mate and two. He played queen to g8 check, and because the bishop already guards the queen, the king can't take, the rook must take. Oh. Knight f7 is still a smothered mate. Not quite as pretty, but still pretty pretty. Okay, now, as promised, we're gonna look at five smothered mates from real life chess games that all happened in the first 10 moves. You might be able to use some of them in your games. Here we go, we're off and running. Number one, against the Karo Khan. If you wanna play d4, you get my vote of approval. And after d5, you can guard your e pawn by playing knight c3. Now, sometimes black will take and white will take. And by the way, black is doing nothing wrong so far. Now, sometimes black wants to play the move knight f6, but doesn't want you to take and get double pawn. So black plays knight to d7 first. So when this knight moves here, there will be a backup knight. So far, again, black has done nothing wrong. This is a very common opening. If you're white, if you want to be a little bit cheeky and go for a smothered knight, you can play queen e2. And here is the trap. In this position, if black continues on his merry way and plays the knight on g to f6, boom, knight d6. And it is a quite embarrassing mate. Well, not embarrassing if you're white. If you're white, you're going to put this on your refrigerator and show it to all your friends. The pawn cannot take because it is pinned by the queen. Therefore, it is a smothered checkmate. And actually, d6 is a pretty common square. Let's take a look at another one. Position number two. Somebody plays the Sicilian against you? No problem. Knight f3, knight c6, d4, the open Sicilian. And after these pawns trade, if black plays e5 to kick your knight, you can actually play knight to f5. Now, the knight doesn't usually go to that square. It usually hops over here or something. But the funny thing is, if black plays a move like knight on g to e7 to try to trade off your knight, uh-oh, it blocks the bishop. Tragedy. Knight to d6. And, well, you've seen this one just a couple of seconds ago. It is another small smothered mate. Okay, let's take a look at game number three. Suddenly you're black. Could I possibly smothered mate as black? Actually, yeah, you totally can. Because if your opponent plays d4, you can actually play the Budapest Gambit, which begins with e5. And if the pawn is captured, your knight can go to g4. It looks like you're trying to get this pawn back. Now, white can defend the pawn with knight f3. Knight c6. Again, double attacking the pawn. White might very well guard it with bishop to f4. Now, you can play bishop to b4 check. This is actually one of the main lines mm. of the Budapest Gambit. White might very well block by putting his knight on b to d2. And now your queen can come to e7. And if you're noticing some similarities with the queen lined up with the king, you have very good powers of observation. Let's just say that white plays a3 to kick your bishop. There's this funny trap where you take on e5. You can actually probably take with either knight, but we'll pick the one on g4. And then if white says, hey, you didn't guard your bishop, pawn takes bishop. Well then, 
Knight to D3 is a very similar smothered mate to that Karo Khan. Again, this pawn is pinned because our queen has cheekily lined up on the E file. Okay, position number four. Here we go. We are black again. And if somebody plays the Italian game, one trap begins with a knight to D4. Probably not a great move, but there's a very famous trap. If white takes the pawn and goes after your weak spot, you actually ignore the weak spot and play queen to g5. And if the knight takes to fork your queen and your rook, well, white has fallen into your trap, hook, line, and sinker. Queen takes pawn, counterattacking this rook. Of course, if we take the rook, it's really bad for white. It'll even be a check. Also, this pawn is in danger, and the only way to save the rook is to play rook f1, which is actually even worse than losing the rook, oh, no. because you can see white is sealing the trap door on his own king. White's king can't move anywhere, so what we do is we play queen oh. takes pawn check. Of course, if you block with your queen, it's going to cost you your queen, but the only other way to block is with the bishop, and now queen's lined up with kings. Very common pattern. Knight f3 is smothered mate on move number seven. The bishop, of course, is pinned, and I've seen this one in kids' chess about a million times. Position number five. Here's our final one. Again, we are black, and if somebody plays this really weird move, knight to e2, don't worry about it. You can see the bishop is now blocked in by the knight. That's called foreshadowing, kids. Pawn to d5. And after this trade, sure, your queen gets attacked, but the queen hid on a5. And after white played d4, black defended his center pawn. And after d5, uh oh, that invites the knight up to b4. Now, probably white should try to, I don't know, get rid of this knight sooner hmm. rather than later. But white played bishop to d2. Uh oh, you can see white's king is completely closed in. And after bishop to f5, there's a double attack on this pawn. And the problem is, when you guard the pawn, bishop will take. If you take with the queen, you lose your queen. And if you take with the rook, black has defeated you with a lone knight. It is checkmate on move number nine. So there you go, chess kids. It's not very common to win a game with smothered mate, but it can happen right out of the opening. And if you ever get to win one, I hope you put it up on your refrigerator to show the world.